Are humans just animals in a farm? Do you feel like you are free? Do you really feel like this reality was created for you? Do you really feel like this reality was created for humans? Or do you feel like this reality was created to serve something more powerful than you? Think about it. Are you really happy? Are you really enjoying your life? Does this world make sense to you? Do you really want to be here? Why do people believe that the afterlife will actually be better than this life? Many religions teach that there is an afterlife and the afterlife is better than this life. We just need to do right and the afterlife will be better. Why? Isn't it because everyone can see that this reality is not good? Is there a person who actually thinks that this reality is good? Have I heard of the Lush Farm Theory? The Lush Farm Theory suggests that when humans feel specific emotions, they release this energy called Lush. And there are entities that feed off that energy. And these entities are going to manipulate reality so that humans will release that energy. Doesn't that seem to be what is actually happening in the world? Why is there so much violence? Why are many people lonely? Why is there poverty? Why is there racism? Why are we fighting with one another? Why isn't this world better than it is? I mean, look at all the technology that we have now. Shouldn't things be better? It seems like things are becoming worse. I mean, these technologies that we have are supposed to improve our lives, right? But are our lives really improving? Oh, these technologies seem to be improving our pain. Think about it. When you go online, do you really feel happy? Like, do you really feel happy when you're on Facebook? Or you see a lot of things that are making you feel negative emotions. When you're on TikTok, you see a lot of things that make you feel negative emotions. When you're on YouTube, you see a lot of things that are making you feel negative emotions. Why are we fighting online? People are fighting online. People are disrespecting one another online. You know, Twitter beef. What is, that, that doesn't even make sense. People will be having Twitter beef. You're like, what? People will be picking sides. People don't need, really want to understand one another. Are we being farmed? This is a very important question to ask. I mean, who created this reality and for what reason? Because people are not happy, animals are not happy. Now, animals live in constant fear because they know that they are being hunted. They know that they can get killed at any time. Does that seem right? Is that justified in your opinion? When you look at how human beings are suffering, does that feel right to you? If you are being honest with yourself. I know we've been lied to about what is going on in the world. I know we've been given many religions the Bible telling us that God actually loves us. The reason why things are the way that they are is because the devil convinced Eve to eat an apple. And that is why things are the way that they are. You can see that that doesn't make sense. You can see that that is bullshit.
What doesn't seem like bullshit is the Gnostic teachings. Gnosticism is antinatalism in a nutshell. Gnosticism is antinatalism if antinatalism was like um, religious philosophy. Gnosticism suggests that, hey, this world, this world that you are in isn't even real. This isn't the real world. This world is a farm. Souls are trapped in this farm so that they will be abused in a lot of different ways so that they will release energy for the archons. Archons feed of a negative energy and that's why horrible things are happening that makes sense that really makes sense this world was created by the demiage the demiage isn't really the real god demiage is a false god that created this matrix to enslave souls that makes complete sense that makes complete sense you can tell that whatever created this is sick. Whatever created this didn't create it for us. This is not about us. You can see that you are a slave. You can see that each and every human that you know is a slave. It's not blind to yourself. No, this is good. Uh, life is beautiful. Life, like, no, man. Stop lying to yourself. It, you... <laughs> if you are watching this video, I do believe you're an adult. You're an adult now. You know what is going on. You can't keep convincing yourself things that ain't true just because you can't cope with the truth. No. Oh. Something sinister is definitely going on here. This reality isn't really what it seems. So you have to think deeply about what is really happening. You gotta open your eyes because what we're being told about what is going on is in the truth. We know that. We know that the way that we're feeling actually suggests that something isn't right. You're not feeling the way that you want to be feeling. You're feeling negative emotions and you haven't done anything to actually deserve to feel these negative emotions. I would understand if you were making a lot of stupid mistakes and you were feeling these negative emotions. I'd be like, okay, you are feeling these negative emotions so that you will actually try to do the right thing so that you feel the positive emotions that you actually want to feel. But that doesn't seem to be what is really happening. It seems like negative things just keep on happening. Negative things happen to people who are young, who haven't even done anything. Isn't it possible that there are entities that are manipulating this reality and they feed off specific type of energy and it's negative energy that we release when we feel a certain way that will explain why some people deal with certain challenges in life have you ever felt like some people just have bad luck because certain things keep on happening to them Like they keep on losing their loved ones. You're like what? Or people keep on betraying them or they keep on losing their jobs. Or they keep on getting sick. Like it's specific things happen to specific people. This would actually mean that these entities that are feeding off our energy because they want a specific type of energy, they have to make us go through certain challenges in our own lives because we are different. So they would look at you and be like, oh, this person released this energy that we want when they are heartbroken. So we got to make sure that they always get heartbroken so that they'll release this energy. Oh, this person released this energy that we want when they've lost their loved one. Oh, so we got to make sure that they always lose their loved one. Oh, this person released this type of energy when they're being bullied. So we got to make sure that they get bullied. You see? 
Think about your own life. Doesn't it seem like there are specific things that keep on happening? Like you can't run away from these things. You've kind of accepted that this is just your life. These things happen even when they shouldn't happen. You're like, ah, but in this situation, this wouldn't happen. How did this situation happen? Like how? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in a situation where this can happen, but it still did happen. Wouldn't it be because there are some entities that are feeding from the energy that you release when those things happen? So they have to keep on happening because these entities are probably going to die or they're going to starve. And they don't want to starve, so they got to keep on creating situations where you will actually be releasing this energy that they want. Doesn't that make sense? I mean, really, man, we are suffering. So can, can, can someone really justify our suffering? People talking about what's happening, like, ah, that's just life. You know, looking at what animals are doing to each other, they'll be like, oh, that's just the cycle of life. No, that's fucking evil. You tell me about the cycle of life, that's evil. We've seen how brutal these animals are. <laughs> Have you seen how these animals kill each other? Oh, God, it's just the cycle of life. Nature is beautiful. No, it isn't. Nature is evil. And that is the truth. That is why when humans kill other humans, we feel like those humans are evil. Why do we feel like these humans are evil? I mean, that's natural, isn't it? It's not like it isn't natural. We know that it's evil. But it's natural. It happens. It's it's it's. It's what happens here. It's not like it's something that shouldn't happen. It's something that happens, something that is possible. This reality works that way. So why do we feel like those people who kill other people are evil? That's because killing a living being is evil. And that is the truth. But we are capable of killing one another. If someone wanted to take me out, they would be able to take me out. Easily. <laughs> so easy to, 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 to uh, take someone's life. It's so damn easy. But why? Why is it so easy? Why is it so easy for humans to hurt one another? Why do we gain a lot from hurting one another? Think about it. If you decide that you're really going to be a good person, you're really going to be fair, you're really going to love other people, they will take advantage of you, people will mistreat you, people will steal from you, people will rob you, because, well, you're this kind person, you know, nothing bad is going to happen. You know, there are some people who will mistreat you because they know nothing bad will happen. There are some people who borrow your money and not return it because, well... Nothing bad is going to happen. They'll be like, ah, you know, I can pay this person back, but uh, why? Why should I? And then you suffer for being a good person, for helping another person. It seems like the more selfish you are, the better your life becomes. Because you are doing exactly what these entities want. Think about what they call blood sacrifice. It seems like every civilization that ever lived on this planet actually believed in blood sacrifice. Every culture believed in blood sacrifice. Like people where I live actually do believe in blood sacrifice. In fact, there are people being killed for sacrifice that has happened this that, that is happening isn't it the same as hurting other people's feelings it seems like we, we get we they reward us for doing negative things for doing things that hurt other people 
So if you decide that you're going to sacrifice someone, cause them to feel a lot of pain, you know, it is actually believed that when they sacrifice people, they have to torture them first. So they have to release this energy that this motherfucking, this motherfucking entities want. I mean, it makes complete sense. Think about it. Like, people are being sacrificed for real. It's a, this, this, this is happening in your world. Like, it happens for real. This is, this is not some myth. You know, this is something that really does happen. There are people who are sacrificing other people. It's happening. And they have to torture them first. So they don't just kill these people and just take their blood and, and perform some rituals. No, they have to make those people suffer first. Why? Isn't it because when people are suffering, they release this energy that these motherfucking icons want? They themselves can't get this energy directly from us. So they have to manipulate our reality so that we will release this energy that they want. If that is what is happening, how do you free yourself? Remember what I told you when I say nothing matters? That's the truth. Nothing matters. So when bad things happen, you're not supposed to feel negative emotions. You're just like, hey, whatever, man. I know that I'm in a fucked up world. These fucked up things do happen. So what? I don't care. You find your wife cheating and be like, hey, hey, I know, I know. Now I know that this reality is evil and there will be these kind of things that will be happening so that I will release this energy that these motherfucking icons want. I remember telling y'all that it seems like when something negative happens and you don't focus on it, it, it just, it, it, it becomes non-existent. Have you ever been in a situation where something bad happens and you just don't pay attention to it? You know it happened, but you don't really pay attention to it. And nothing really happens afterwards. Like, usually when that bad thing happens, more bad things are supposed to happen, but then nothing bad happens. Let me give you a simple example. Let's just say you steal your father's car, you drive it, and then maybe you cause an accident. Let's say you don't stress and you don't feel like it's a big deal. You even call your father and be like, I stole your car and yeah, this happened. And he say whatever he say and you just you don't you don't even you don't even care. You just like okay, it did happen. You know, we'll deal with it. And then your father fixes that situation very easily and you don't find yourself in trouble. But if you stress like oh my father is going to be mad, blah 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 and then a lot of bad things will happen. You know, your father will probably you know, chase you out of his house. Like, oh, that don't ever come back. You know what I mean? It, it seems like the more you, you focus on these negative things, the, the more they become alive. You know what I mean? The more you focus on these monsters, the more they become alive, the bigger they become. So it seems like the more you release, they release these negative energies, the more you feed these monsters. So you must not give a shit. That seems to be the only way. You just must not give a shit. Because this reality will continue to try to harm you somehow. Now this reality will continue to be in such a way that's going to make you feel these negative emotions. It's, it's just how it works. It's, it's how it has always worked. When I look at how my life was since I was young, I can see that certain things kept on happening. Like certain things kept on happening and I couldn't escape these things. I was always weird. Now, I always felt like other people never really understood me and they were against me in some way. Since I was young, like since I was in preschool, it was always like that. I was just weird. And I'll have these people that will hate me for real. Like they'll be against me for real. Even though, even when I've never like done anything, 
I'll just be living my life, minding my own business, and there will be these kids that are against me. Like, my life has always been like that growing up. Like certain things kept on happening, you know? Like what? Like people just seem to be against you for no reason. Like wherever you go, there will be these people that will be against you for real and for no reason. They wouldn't really like attack you like that, but they'll would, they would be against you. They'll be saying negative things about you. I remember when I went to high school in 2006, there was this guy, his name was Diesel. He was, he was in grade 12 or was in grade 8. He was this tall guy, like this big tall guy that was feared by everyone. Whenever he would see me, he would laugh. And my friends would be surprised. Like I wasn't that weird, but he would laugh. He would be with his gents and he would see me and he would just point his hand at me and just start laughing and start laughing. And he would pass. And my friends would ask me, why, why is he laughing? Like, hey, man, I don't know. Whenever, it's like there's never been... A point where he saw me and didn't laugh. Whenever I would see, like, it doesn't matter where he's at, he would just laugh. And that made me feel very insecure. And the way that I felt was very, was unique, you know. It's like, there would be negative things that would happen, but I wouldn't feel that way. And the, what's crazy is that there would be situations like that, but... I'm just giving you this specific example because I think it's quite interesting. So he'd laugh at me whenever you see me. 2006, 2007, 2008, I left that high school and went to another high school. 2009, I meet this nigga. This nigga doesn't laugh at me anymore. We talk. Right? We talk. And I asked him, yo, man, you used to laugh at me. Why? He's like, I don't remember. He's like, what are you talking about? Nigga, you laughed at me for three fucking years. You laughed at me for more than 100 times. And you telling me that you don't remember? No, there's no way, bro. There's, that is not possible. I mean, this is 2009, Nigga, You laughed at me in 2008. Why? It's like, I don't... It's not like you were scared of me. It's not like I was... Uh, I was aggressive in any way. I just genuinely wanted to know why he was laughing at me. I'm like, why, why he laughed at me back then? But he said he does not remember. And I believed him. I was like, this motherfucker really does not remember. Okay. I'm in another high school now. It's 2009. Same thing happened. There was this other guy, tall guy. Whenever he would see me, he would laugh at me. He was, he was weird, you know, this guy. He was, he was kind of weird. He would be with gents. Whenever he would see me, he would just... <laughs> like, he was fucking weird. Like, why? Whenever I would see him, and this shit wouldn't happen to my friends. Like, I've never seen this shit happening to other people. Like, people just see you and just, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, it wouldn't be happening with, like, everyone. It would just be, like, one or two people. And I would be like, what? And I remember in, 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 in that high school, girls liked me. Um, many girls liked me. Um, I used to dress very well, and I used to rap a lot, so many girls liked me. I remember this other day, this other girl that liked me, she used to tell her friends that she liked me and um, nah, a lot of people told me that she liked me, but I wasn't really into her. So this other day, she was with this other friend of hers talking about me. So my friend was like, hey man, I think that girl is talking about you. It's like, really? Because they, they knew that girls want like me. But I would, there will still be people who will be laughing at me. People will just be thinking that I'm weird. But there will still be girls that will really, really like me. It's like, huh, that's weird. So she came with her friend. And coming where I was with my friends. And as soon as we got closer and she pointed at me. Because, well, I'm the guy she was interested in. The other girl started laughing like crazy. She just started laughing and that girl was like surprised. Like, why is this girl laughing? You know? Like, that... That's the story of my life. That always happened. Even when I was in a relationship with a girl, there would be her friends who would be laughing at her or me because she's with me. Blah, blah, blah. It was weird. You know, it's, it's just, I, I knew it wouldn't happen to my friends, but it would happen to me. I'll be like, why? Am I that weird? Am I that different? Am I, am I funny? Now, this guy that I'm telling you about, yeah, he, he, he would laugh at me. Um, 
in, in 2009, I was in grade 10. I failed grade 12, 10 when I was in the other high school. So I went to this other high school. I had to repeat grade 12, 10. You'd laugh at me in grade, in grade 10, grade 11, grade 12. Every time. And this is, that's what's crazy. It's not like he would see me and he just would let me pass. He would just laugh. And he wouldn't really like laugh out loud like that. Like he would just be like, <laughs> but he would see me, right? Whenever I would see me, we just like, <laughs> like it made it made me feel a certain way, you know. It made me feel a certain way. Years later, I met this guy. He knew my name. In fact, I, I I didn't meet him. He just came where I was. So I wouldn't really say like we just met. Like it's like he he saw me and he just came straight where I was. Like oh boy, how are you, man? We're in Joburg. Ah man, it's been a, it's been it's been so long since I've seen you, man. How are you doing? It's like, no, I'm doing good, man. It's like, yo, man, you know, you used to be one of the best rappers, man, when we were in high school. Like, yeah, you, you still making music. It's like, what? Nigga, you used to laugh at me. You and you and I you and I were never cool. Like you and I were never cool. Like you used to laugh at me. Like for real. Like you never liked me. You know, you would talk shit about me out here that you spoke shit about me. You know, my girlfriend would tell me, like my ex-girlfriend would tell me that you speak shit about me. You know, like you, you didn't like me. So why are we cool now? But I didn't tell him that, but I was surprised. It turns out that he was friend with one of my friends. So I would see him a lot and we became close. And I would ask him, yo, dude, you used to laugh at me a lot. Why? And he, would, he told me that he, he doesn't remember. Like, what? You don't remember? It's like, no, I don't remember, man. You were always cool. It's like, nah, you're lying. And again, I was not being aggressive. We were joking about a lot of things that were happening in high school. So I, he, he was free to say whatever. I, I wouldn't have had a problem. You know, we were joking. We were laughing. So he could have said anything. But this guy genuinely did not remember. Oh. Look at his face and see that this guy is confused. Like, he doesn't remember laughing at me. So it seemed like something would enter him and he would laugh at me so that I would feel a certain way, the way that I look at it. And, you know, this kind of things continue to happen, it's, you know. And then people will, not, after some time, the same people will come to me and be cool. As if they didn't used to do certain shit that I didn't like back then. Like, every, each and every person that I know that used to act weird around me, now it's cool, you know? I remember I met this other guy, I was drinking. Um, I don't want to drink anymore, actually. Um, I want to quit drinking. I mean, if I do drink, I'm just, just maybe just maybe two days in a row, and that's it. Two days a month. I'm not really going to be drinking. I think, I don't know, I, I don't want to become an alcoholic. But yeah, I was drinking this other day and I met this guy. When I was in high school, me and him were in cool and he was one of those guys that just didn't like me, that would always talk shit about me. Like, he was against me for no reason. You know, person just hates you for no reason. They just talk shit about you. You just passing by and they say negative shit about you to their friends. You know, he was that guy. He came to me and he's like, oh man, how are you doing? Like, I'm good and you... Now, now we're good. Like, ah, man, this is this was my classmate introduced me to his friend. Now, this was my like, cause we in, in 2008 we had classmates, but um, this guy, the, the guy I'm talking about, was weird since I I, I knew him. It's like from 2006, it was weird. 2007 it was weird. 2008, he was weird. He was he was worse actually in 2008 because we were classmates. But now it's cool. Like, nigga, you you didn't like, but. Uh, these are just few examples. This is something that always happened. So I'm like, maybe I release certain energy when I'm feeling insecure. Especially when people make me feel like um, there's something wrong with me, you know. Because I'm not that weird. I mean, I've always been great. I've, I've, I've always been great. You know, there have been people who, who really liked me, who, who thought that I was great, who looked up to me. So, I'm, I'm not... I was in that weird, like the people were <laughs> much weirder than me and that didn't happen to them. Like they wouldn't have people act the way that these people acted. So it seems like 
there were these negative entities that were making these people act that way so that I would release that energy. And it, it, it makes perfect sense. And when I look at my life, I see that, well, it seemed like I had to remain at the same emotional state that I was in since I was young. It's like there isn't great things that are supposed to happen that are going to help me move out of that state. Like whenever I'm in a situation where something great is about to happen, let's say I'm about to make a lot of money, like I, something that is not supposed to happen is going to happen. Like you, you're never supposed to get out of that, uh, you know, emotional state. You have to remain in that emotional state because if something too great happens, then you're not gonna feel that way anymore. But something is obviously off. You know, something is obviously off. It's important that you try to investigate this reality. Other than believing what other people are telling you, you know, try to figure out what is going on on your own. You know, look at your own life. What are the things that keep on happening? Why do these things keep on happening? Why do I keep on feeling this way? How do I stop feeling this way? What could be the truth? What makes the most sense? You, you try to investigate this reality on your own without listening to what other people are saying. See if you do not reach the same conclusion that I've reached. Because this, is, this world is really not good and, and it, it's obvious. Like There isn't any person that's ever say that this world is good I actually like made sense. Like each and every person that say this world is good never really made sense. They'll be like, oh, there are there are good things that happen in this world it's not like it's just bad things that be happening you know and you know suffering both character you know and we life isn't about happiness the purpose of life isn't about happiness the purpose of life is to serve god or is to evolve blah, blah, blah. And you're like what's wrong with people it's obvious that we're torturing one another man like, look at the things that you go through every day. You know, you feel different type of emotions. Some of you, you know, are bipolar. You know, be like, oh, bipolar is a mental illness. Now, there are a lot of things that are happening that you can't even deal with. So you feel a certain way, you know. Your emotions keep on changing. You don't even know how to feel. So you, your emotions keep on changing because you don't know how to feel about what is really going on. You have to deal with the same shit. Like kids have to deal with the same shit every day when they go to school. They have to deal with bullies, deal with people who gossip, deal with their teachers, homework, failing, their parents at home, all that. You can see that life itself is a lot of work. You cannot tell me this was created for us, man. You'll be lying. This wasn't created for us. Some people actually believe that if we didn't suffer, we didn't enjoy this. But like, oh, to appreciate the light, you must see the darkness. Nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. That's, 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 that's not true. You don't have to see the darkness to actually appreciate the light. Because by being able to see if what you're seeing is good, you're going to feel good. You don't actually need to appreciate anything. You just feel good and that, that will be good enough. You don't necessarily need to appreciate something. You know, that's like if you were in a relationship with someone and you were manipulating them, you know, you, you, you treat them very well and you decide at some point that, you know, I'm not going to treat this person very well so that they will realize that without me, they're not going to feel the way that they feel. And they, so they will realize how important I am. It's just manipulation, man. You don't need to experience lack to appreciate abundance, you know. You wouldn't suffer if you weren't experiencing lack, if you weren't experiencing suffering, if there weren't negative things that are happening. You'll be alright. You wouldn't even uh, be thinking about exiting this reality. You wouldn't even be thinking about not reincarnating back here. 
Because I know that most people who are watching my videos wouldn't want to come back here. I know that I wouldn't want to come back here. Like, there's, there's zero willingness to come back. Like, I know beyond any reasonable doubt that I do not want this. Like, this is not my depression speaking. Like, ah, oh, I'm depressed. I wouldn't want this. No, I'm, I'm not depressed right now. I'm good. I, I know like i know from the bottom of my heart that i do not want this i know that something is not right i know this isn't for me and i know that this isn't for anyone it's just that people lie you know how we are we lie we lie and we lie and there are people who are doing negative things and because well there are entities that are feeding off on negative emotions that are being rewarded <laughs> So they continue to do negative things, you know. People will still get what they want, right? Easily, without really working very hard. Someone can just rob you. I know people who lost their cars. Find that it was still a new car. Someone just pointed a gun at them and took their car and sold it. They're living life, you know, because they don't really have to work that hard to have these this things that they want. So these entities that are controlling our reality get what they want. They get the energy that they want, and these people get what they want. So these negative entities protect these people. Like, hey, these people are actually helping us get what we want because we don't want people to be at peace. That's why we gave them different religions. That's why there is inequality. That's why people themselves are not equal. That's why some people have everything and some people have nothing. That's why some people have bad genetics. That's why some people have good genetics. You know, people are, are not supposed to be equal so that they will be suffering. You can say that this reality was created so that they will be suffering. Isn't that obvious? Like, if, 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 if you don't agree with what I'm saying, Tell me exactly why you don't agree with what I'm saying in the comment. Because what I told you make complete sense. You cannot say what I'm telling you doesn't make sense. Like it makes complete sense. It explains everything. I know this has been bad since I was a kid. And I, and I gotta assume that most of you who are watching, you know, you you know that you've suffered since you were kids. And I can't say that I was an, an, a super evil person or I was worse than other people. I think I was just like everyone else. I mean, I was a bit more conscious, of course, but I was just like everyone else. And it seems like the more conscious you are, the more you become, the more you become a target. Ever realize that? It's like you're a threat, so you must be a target. I came across this other video from this girl, she's Nigerian, very conscious, very conscious woman. I like all her videos. I remember she was talking about, she's not sure if she really wants to be here and she doesn't even want to have children, you know, because she doesn't trust this world, blah, blah, blah. And I like the videos, she's never like really spoken about having children, she was talking about religion and other videos, but I liked that video because I was like, whoa, so this girl is just like me in every way. But she, and she doesn't feel like she wants to be here. Isn't it not possible that people who are conscious have to go through a lot because they're not really wanted here because they will wake people up. Like there's a chance that they may wake some people up and these negative energies, the entities know that. So they are trying to make sure that these people suffer. Like that's really possible because some of us have been through a lot growing up things that you know that shouldn't happen you're like nah man this this is these things ain't happening to other people this this is like happening to me specifically i mean there have been many people that have asked about a lot of things that will happen to me and they'll tell me that hey that never happened to me and i'll look at them and be like you look like a person that these kind of things would happen to so something is definitely wrong that's why you need to keep your eyes open you cannot trust this reality man and don't try to validate your emotions like ah, i'm supposed to be feeling this don't do that don't be addicted to feeling these negative emotions that you feel try to be try to be neutral you know try to not feel 
and if you do feel certain emotions try especially if they're not good try to focus on what makes you feel good emotions other than allowing yourself to fall deep into this rabbit hole of negative emotions and be stuck there <laughs> these negative entities are gonna love you be like oh shit there's this other human this 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 human is always depressed we, you know they, they, they are releasing this and the, their energy is nice man that loose is like really nice like you know they'll probably fight over you in the spiritual realm like they'll be killing each other over you because <laughs> you're feeding them what they want no i'm serious man it's obvious that we're being manipulated and people should stop believing that reality is just what they see like ah this is what they say i uh, i evolved from a monkey blah 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 like come on why do you believe what they told you you can see that that doesn't make any sense when you look at what is really going on look at the pyramids all these ancient monuments you look at the clay tablets discovered in 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 um iraq like those, those clay tablets you know are old and you see that um the story that they're telling us is actually different from what we are being told about our um, existence you know so you gotta keep your eyes open man and 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 stop believing bullshit because people are gonna lie to you people do not care about you man people are full of shit people are selfish so you have to keep on working on yourself to become more and more conscious so that people are not able to manipulate you you keep an open mind all the time that is very important you keep an open mind but never allow anyone to manipulate you never allow anyone to lie to you just keep an open mind you'd rather be confused than believing lies you know just just keep an open mind all the time allow yourself to evolve so that no one really lies to you you were born in this world Uh, without knowing anything you don't even know who to trust like for real you you do not even know who to trust if you are being honest with yourself you don't even know who to trust you don't know if you should trust your friends you don't know if you should trust your parents you don't know if you should trust your teachers you don't know if you should trust your boss you don't know if you should trust your husband your wife you don't know who to trust because you don't know what is going on you don't know shit about what is going on in this reality and this reality could be anything So you got to keep an open mind and trust no one. I think that is what's going to help you, you know, evolve and if there's escaping this shit, you actually figure out how to escape. Because it's it's bad. You know that it's bad. You don't want to find yourself back here and having to start out young and and you know not know anything and believe that this world is good and then have negative experiences and then wake up and actually realize that something is wrong and then you die again and then the process starts again because i can see that happening you find that once you become conscious and actually realize how to free yourself you die before you free yourself you start all over once you start realizing how to free yourself you die and then you start all over you see your soul keeps on getting recycled so keep on getting recycled so that you will feed these negative entities because without your memories you you nothing without your memories you're nothing without your memories you can trust your enemies is it your enemies can actually make you believe that they are on your side if you don't have your memories if you waste the furious Seven. Is it Fira six or Fira seven? Where Lady, 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 I don't really remember her name. Lost her memories and then she found herself with her enemies, working for her enemies, because well she didn't have memories of her past life. I think this was Fira, Fira five actually. Yeah, it was Fira five. your memories are really that important without your memories you are nothing don't let people lie to you you know the spiritual teachers telling you that oh if you knew what happened in your past life uh you'll be confused you'll be full of hatred you'll be this and no man if you knew what happened in your past life you'll be 
you'd be better than you are right now. You'd know more than you know right now, and that is important. Knowing is important. Now you do not know shit. You're confused. So you can see that something is definitely wrong. There's no way, yo. You if 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 you're eternal, there's no way you keep on forgetting your memories. And that was happening for a good reason. No. There's no way, bro. Like that's bad. That's that's evil. If you've watched. The episode called White Beer, the episode of uh, Black Mirror called White Beer, you'll understand how evil it is to wipe off someone's memories. Now, this lady will wake up, not recall anything, get outside her house, and have this guy trying to shoot her. She runs away and then find people, you know, using, recording her with her cell, with their cell phones and shoot try to talk to them and they wouldn't say anything and then there will be these people that will try to help her and they will tell her that hey uh, actually what is happening is that there's this signal that's coming from that place so we need to go to that place and actually kill the signal so that everyone else will become sane for some reason this signal doesn't affect us it's like we're the only people that are unaffected by the signal and then a lot of fucked up things will happen she'll find herself fighting suffering and and when they get to that place and then they reveal it to her that hey actually you are being punished you and your boyfriend killed this person and that is why this is happening to you and then the process will start over again they'll wipe off your memories completely and then the process starts again you see that is evil you can find that that's actually what is happening in this reality you forget everything and then you are born again and then you have to go through the same shit over and over again not knowing what is going on and then by the time you realize what is going on they decide to wipe off your memories and you incarnate back into this shit and then you start over again so you gotta be brave man you gotta be brave and i think the only way to win is to try your best to not fail because if that girl in, in, in this episode that I'm telling you about, if she did not feel anything, then she wouldn't be suffering. You know, these guys will just come up with guns and she'll just look at them and be like, hey, whatever, man, fuck y'all. She wouldn't be playing that stupid game that they wanted her to play, but she didn't know anything. And she genuinely thought that whatever was happening was real. That could be what is happening. You know, you find that this reality isn't really real. You are being manipulated in every way and you are responding. And that's what they want. They want you to respond so that you feel these emotions that they want you to feel. You see? So you got to keep your eyes open. Because you don't know what this reality is for real. This is not a joke. You don't know what this reality is. So don't lie to yourself. Don't ever lie to yourself. Don't ever... Think that you know because you don't know. Don't ever tell yourself that you know. Because telling yourself that you know is actually going to limit you from like really understanding what is really going on. You know? That's why I told you in one of my previous videos that the problem isn't that you don't know. The problem is that you know. You think you know. That's the problem. And because you think you know, you're not open-minded enough. So you don't ever get to know anything. You only know what they want you to know, which is not even the truth. So what you think is the truth isn't really the truth. It's just what they want you to think is the truth so that they will be able to manipulate you. As you can see that we are being manipulated. Look at all these religions that we, they gave us. I'm pretty sure that if you're still watching this video, you're conscious enough to know that these religions that they gave us, they gave us these religions just to manipulate us because these religions make no sense. You see? <laughs> Emotional blackmail, man. Emotional blackmail. Hey, there's some dude that died for your sins. Whoever believes in this dude is gonna live forever in heaven. They're not gonna be tortured in hell for eternity. Their sins will be forgiven. Like, uh, man. That makes no sense.
like it's just emotional blackmail it's like if i decided to do something for a girl that i love something big you know something that takes a lot of effort and then i send someone to talk to that girl about what i did for her. and the person say hey man hey, hey hey lady um you know that that guy did a lot for you you know like he did that he did this and you you got to love him you know he loves you so much that's why he did smooth no black mail i got to love jesus because he's real that's important secondly what he says make a lot of sense that that counts I shouldn't just love Jesus just because he died for my sins. No. Is what he's saying good? Does it seem good? Does it seem like he's just manipulating us? Does it seem to have our best interest at heart? Like all of that counts. It's not you you shouldn't just be following someone just because they died for your sins or whatever like nah, man, who could cares? Who said I even wanted to be here in the first place? I mean, no one has to be born. That that also needs to be realized. You know, we always just find ourselves here, mm, and we are called sinners. We are all sinners. Even before we did anything, we are all sinners. Like that's that doesn't make sense. So you can say that. we are being manipulated on every level so that means that even in the afterlife we probably be manipulated so we need to um we need to be wise man we need to be wise and not trust anyone just just trust ourselves it is important that we keep on working on ourselves trying to become more conscious make sure that we're not neurotic you know stupid things do not make us angry anymore you know it's important you no longer find yourself feeling lonely because you are doing a lot of work on yourself you know you're trying to detach yourself from this fake reality that was created for you to manipulate you and get energy from you It's obvious to me that this place isn't good. Like this isn't something that's not clear to me. Like it's it's something that is hundred percent obvious. Like I've thought about it so many times on every level and realized that there is no way that this world was actually created for a good reason. There isn't. It wasn't created for a good reason, man. This isn't good. You just need to become conscious enough to know that this isn't good. You know, if you are in a relationship with a person who's manipulating you and who doesn't care about you, you need to become conscious to realize that hey, this person that I'm in a relationship with does not care about me and this they are manipulating me. You wouldn't be able to say that this the person that's manipulating you and that doesn't care about you doesn't care about you and is manipulating you unless you become conscious so it's important that you become conscious keep on raising your vibration reach a higher level of consciousness so that you'll be able to see things as they really are so that no one gets to manipulate you there are many people that i know that are being manipulated by people be like damn how do you not see that you're being manipulated and every person says ah, i'm not being manipulated and then some few months later they come to you and say hey you were right I'm like hey i'm always right motherfucker it's funny that people really see the truth when it's too late man when they've lost everything when they cannot change things That's when they see the truth. Try to see the truth now. 
Try to see the truth before it's too late. Try to do the right thing now. Try to understand more now. Try to be brave now. People still telling me they're afraid. I'm afraid to be real. I'm afraid to speak my mind and all that. You understand that you are in an evil world, right? Like the worst has already happened. What are you afraid of? Like the worst has already happened. You were born here. That's the worst thing that could have possibly happened and it has happened. So what are you afraid of? How are you going to free yourself if you're still a coward? It means that you're still going to be manipulated in many different ways and you still be afraid to be yourself. I mean, think about it. If you are afraid to speak the truth, if you are afraid to be yourself, if you are afraid to impose your will on this reality, how the fuck are you going to free yourself? Do you think freeing yourself <laughs> is easy? Like, it's going to require you to be a superhuman. Like, you're going to have to be... You're going to have to be super brave, man. You have to be super everything. You can't just be this normal human and think you're going to free yourself. No, you have to be doing things that no one is doing. Thinking in a way that other people ain't thinking. You know, you have to... You have to be a superhuman for real. That's how you free yourself. Because you are not supposed to free yourself. So, of course, you cannot free yourself if you're just going to be this normal human. You see, so... You got to be a superhuman. That's how you free yourself. So you stop being a coward. This, this, this world is evil. You realize that. Don't ever think this is good and it's going to work out for you and all that. No, it isn't. Stop feeling comfortable in a world that is evil. You shouldn't be feeling comfortable in a world that is evil. You should constantly be trying to reach higher levels of consciousness so that you know exactly what you need to do. So that you don't even need anyone else to be telling you what you need to be doing. You know exactly what you need to be doing. There's a reason why people who are conscious are like almost impossible to lie to. They're almost impossible to manipulate. They're conscious. They know how things work. They're brave. They're not living in fear. And stop living in fear because I think these, these entities want us to be to be living in fear so they will create situations where we will feel afraid you know that you'll be afraid so you shouldn't be living in fear you need to be 100 percent brave constantly work on becoming stronger and better so that you don't find yourself falling into the same trap over and over again and no matter what happens in your life, don't ever believe this reality is good. It's not. <laughs> it seems like good things happen so that bad things will happen. It's like... If you can be allowed to get what you want and you start believing that things are actually working out. And when... when when things stop working out, you're going to feel more pain because you would have had hope. <laughs> this reminds me of a scene in Matrix 4 where the analyst told Neo that, you know that hope and despair are nearly identical in code? It works like this, like... Only if I can have this or only if I can do this. But then you don't get to do it. You don't get to have what you want. It's like in my matrix, the more we manipulate you, the more we mistreat you, the more energy you produce. So if you want to have hope and then things don't work out, you, you're going to release a lot of energy. That is why they say you got a hopeless. It's like, they say... You got to expect the worst, yeah, so that you'll never be disappointed, you know, because if you think, think good things are going to happen, if they don't happen, then you're going to be disappointed. Imagine if you went to the mall thinking that you're going to meet a person that you love. Let's just say you, you are supposed to meet a person that you love, and then 
you go to the mall and then you don't find them or maybe they text you and say i can't make it you're gonna feel disappointed right but if you decide to go to the mall just to, without any expectations he if you won't feel disappointed is it so <laughs> don't don't ever believe in this reality it's it's it's, it's a fucked up reality thank you all guys